Folks, welcome back to AP Unfiltered. Lara Trump went head to head with CNN's Dana Bash over the Hurricane Helene response that we all knew they'd have to put a little bit of their own spin on. But we're going to get into this and a bunch more on this episode. I'm Aaron Prager, and this is AP Unfiltered. Folks, before we start the show, you know the drill. Check out our amazing sponsor, MyPatriotCigar.com. Great cigar, great business, run by an better patriot. Pick some up for yourself or some loved ones, even buy a cigar for a deployed service member at a deep, deep, deep discount. But when you head to check up, sure you use promo code APU, like AP on filter for 25% off. And please, I only ask one thing. Please hit the like button on the video, the follow button on the channel, and the subscribe button if you're over on YouTube. Share the show with a friend. Take the URL, post your social medias, and if you'd like to become a member over on YouTube, five dollars a month. The link is in the description of the video on the main page or on the videos page if you're watching on desktop. But let's get into it. Laura, I want to ask you about something that uh, the former president said last night on that stage, specifically about Hurricane Helene in your home state of North Carolina. He said that FEMA is only offering. $750 to Americans who have had their homes destroyed. That's not true. Uh, he's also echoing conspiracy theorists online who falsely claim that the administration is redirecting disaster money for undocumented immigrants. That's also not true. Why is he spreading misinformation in a crisis like that? And does that concern you about your fellow North Carolinians and how and whether they can actually get help? I am incredibly concerned in North Carolina. I, I hear every day from people on the ground there, and they are desperate for help. It is a, a dire situation there. I actually think we don't even know the extent yet of truly how bad it is there. And look, Kamala Harris did come out and say it's $750 per family right now. The idea that we've spent $650 million in fiscal year 24 on the migrant crisis that Kamala Harris was responsible for stopping, and by all accounts, she created by having an open door policy at our southern border. But, but is Laura, let, Laura, let me just stop the you right there. Of this country. Let me just stop you right there. Okay, so seven hundred and fifty dollars per family is true. In fact, it's actually the maximum under current laws as an upfront payment that's given to families. So I think it's important to clarify something here as well. People are not upset that the government is only giving Americans seven hundred fifty dollars. People are upset because Americans get capped at an initial payment of $750 while we have millions being spent on illegal migrants. That is what people are upset about, ladies and gentlemen. And to break this down with the sources, Brianna Morello put out a great post showing that the source for this is actually FEMA itself. Throughout the week, I've been reporting how FEMA has been taking over a billion of our dollars that's intended for disasters and shifting it towards the illegal invasion going on right now in our country. Now, FEMA's addressing my report on their website right now, calling it a rumor, actually. They're saying that this is a rumor. It's a rumor. False. No money is being diverted from the disaster response needs. Interesting. That's very interesting that FEMA is now denying this. And the reason why I say that is take a listen. Okay, I never, I never divulge who my sources are behind a story, but I'm going to do it now because I don't want FEMA calling me a liar. So my source behind all my reporting is actually FEMA itself. If you go to the same website, you search these headlines, guess what? They're on their own website. Whoops. Whoopsie. Okay, I pulled all of this information from their press releases. They've been bragging about giving our money away to the innovators for years now. Now all of a sudden they need more money from Congress. They're calling it a rumor. They're calling it a lie. They're probably calling it a conspiracy theory. But if you go to their website, and in case they delete it, we've got the archives, so don't you worry. Okay, it says Department of Homeland Security announces distribution of more than $77 million in congressional funding for communities receiving migrants. So when a community receives a hurricane, it's a different story than when a community receives migrants. Just wanted to clarify that, apparently. Uh, and they're bragging about taking your money and giving it to people who are invading our country. That now that you as Americans who need this money, guess what's happening to it? It's gone. We don't have any of it. Uh, and that's according to their own DHS secretary, Alejandro Mayorkas, who's saying that they don't have enough money to get them through hurricane season. Also, on that same website, they're denying the fact that they're broke. They're saying that that's also false. FEMA has enough money to, right now for immediate response and recovery needs. Didn't Biden come out and say that they are going to get all the money that, 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 they, that they've been given, all the money that, they, that they're going to get? Didn't we play that clip here on the show not long ago? Mayorkas. Okay, so they're hoping, they're hoping that you're just as dumb as they are and that you're not going to fact check them on these things. Yeah, well, we do fact check them on these things because it's very important to do so. But yeah, 
once again, not a great look for our current administration here in the United States, that when push comes to shove, we don't have the money to actually help Americans because the amount of money that the Biden-Harris administration has spent on facilitating the easy transfer across the southern border of illegal, migra of illegal migrants, that's what people are upset about, ladies and gentlemen. If $750 is the max, then raise the max for initial payment needs. People in North Carolina and other states affected need aid, and they need it now, like J.G. Wentworth. <laughs> They need it now. To get that $750, they need to apply for it. But what if they don't have internet? What if they don't have cell phone service? Because I just want to not let this uh, get out there. You are right that FEMA is giving $750, but that- So she's right, but before Dana Bash literally said that that wasn't true. That was like one of the first things out of Dana Bash's mouth was saying that that was not true, but now she's saying it is true. Do you see what they're doing? They count on people not paying attention, ladies and gentlemen. That is- a first step. It's for immediate needs. It's called the serious, well, serious, came serious out and needs Dana, assistance. Dana and said that they are out of money in terms what, of their hurricane relief. We have another hurricane heading towards Florida right now. What they have Why said is, is that there is money right now. Why don't they have anything in order? Why is it that right now well, the citizens in Western North Carolina are screaming for help and it's having to come from local citizens? People from my hometown of Wilmington are driving across the state six yeah. hours to go to the mountains that, and help people. It is Who bad. Is it, our federal government? It, Why it, are they out of it money? Is, it, it is bad there. But my question is about the misinformation, particularly the notion that they are moving money to migrants, uh, to, you say, well, here, undocumented migrants, which FEMA you says have, flatly is have, not true. And, and if people are not uh, getting correct information, then they can't go for, the, for assistance. Yep, you heard that right. Dana Bash just said, I get that it's bad, but I want to talk about the misinformation from Trump. That's literally what she just said. That could be the entire media, the entire corporate legacy media slogan since Trump came on the scene. That they don't want to talk about what's happening. They just want to talk about how bad he is. When talking about anything, they're just like, we don't care. We want to talk about how bad Trump is. Let's put all of our efforts into focusing our audience on how bad this one guy is rather than being productive journalists who actually report and talk about how unbelievably screwed up the things are on the ground. But no, we can't because orange man bad and mean freaking tweets. Think about that. If that doesn't open your eyes to how disingenuous the media is, I don't know what will. For the love of God, shut up. They know. They know that there has been gross negligence uh, done to the American people. They know that migrants have taken priority over American citizens under the current administration. But Dana Bash, in this clip right here, when she's sparring with, with, with Laura Trump, Dollars to Donuts has her producer in her ear, in her ear, screaming at her, divert, divert, slam Trump, try and corner her. That is what is happening in Dana Bash's ear. I would bet my bank account on it assistance as they have been asked for. I just want to quickly Dana, play with Senator uh, Senator no, no, Tom no. Tillis. Let me just say for one second, Go ahead. you have migrants being housed in luxury hotels in New York City. We have paid so much money from our tax dollars into the crisis that didn't need to happen. We could redirect money to help people immediately on the ground in North but Carolina Laura, or they're in saying Florida, that they where have, we're probably going to have a situation that's a separate, coming up in that's the next a separate, several days. That's a separate tranche of no money. Is, that's a separate tranche okay. of money. I want you to if listen to. I want that you this to. Migrant crisis. I want you to listen to what every American. It is a big problem. But and that has nothing to do right. with that has nothing to do with the people in your home state right now. What on earth is Dana Bash talking about here? She says this has nothing to people to do with the people in North Carolina. What do you mean? What do you mean this has nothing to do with the people of North Carolina? Laura Trump is saying, how about we divert money to help Americans? And it seems pretty clear that the Democrats are saying, let's divert money to help people who came here illegally. Is that not what's being said? Seems like it's being said, but no, the media is going to try to try to convince you that you're the crazy person. Don't believe your own lying eyes. The Biden-Harris administration opened the border and allowed all of these people to come in, and now we have a finite amount of money in order to go around, and for some reason they're saying, hey, let's give it to the people who came here illegally, essentially under our invitation, rather than to the victims of Hurricane Helene. Not to mention that the federal government seems to have no problem printing money at will, but for some reason, we cannot give it to the people who really need it here in America. We have to give it to Ukraine, we have to give it to all these foreign, the, all these different foreign conflicts, and we have to give it to people who come here illegally, right? 
the amount of, I mean, don't get me on a whole nother subject right here about the amount of special interest aliens that we're, we're that Border Patrol is encountering right now, but rightfully so. Americans are looking at this amount of money given to immigrants and calling foul. We talk about the Dems calling foul on, on, on a lot of conservative policies and, and policy prescription, and tr definitely Trump's policy prescription, when it's not even needed. But for this, they can't, they can't understand what's happening. Think about this too, the hotels that these immigrants are staying at, the seemingly bottomless credit cards that they're given, why can't we give, if $750, let me just ask this question. I wish I could ask this to Dana Bash directly. If $750 is the maximum that FEMA is allowed to give, why can't we give the credit cards that these illegal immigrants are getting with like $5,000 on it to the hurricane victims? Just take those credit cards and give it to the hurricane victims, huh? Why not? But I'm sure there's some bullshit government reason for that, then why they can't make that happen crazy. So they blame Donald Trump for saying things and calling attention to the fact, and then they scurry away into their corners because it's being exposed. Meanwhile, while we're having this conversation, they're trying to run and cover for the bad policies they put into place. They're the ones who put these bad policies into place. It's almost as if they themselves realize how bad the policy is, but they're too scared to admit it because it would result ultimately in the American people having a full on revolt against them and tossing them out on their butts and out of power. But good on Laura for pushing back on this because as you can see in real time, the veil is continuing to fall, ladies and gentlemen. It's continuing to fall and people are waking up. But listen, folks, it's all I got for you today. If you appreciate this type of content and you want to see more like it, do me a favor real quick. Hit the like button on the video, the follow button on the channel, the sub button if you're over on YouTube. Share the show with a friend. Take the URL, post your social medias. And if you do find value within this and you'd like to help us keep the lights on around here, you can always hit the join member over on YouTube for $5 a month. Link is in the description of the video on the main page or on the page or on the main page of the channel, I believe it is. But I appreciate you guys being here. Staying informed is an American and a moral obligation. And until next time, catch y'all on the next one.